Welcome back to Let's Fabricate. My name's Cody and today we are going to do what I told you we're going to do in today's video. We have a whole bunch of PEX fittings. I've got some tubing behind me. We are going to plumb the garage for some shop air. Got some uh, three quarter inch PEX. Um, we're gonna, my compressor has been sitting over here for a long time and that has been my only hose reel in the shop but today we are going to take those down so we can put some air lines up put drops on either side of the garage door and then put drops behind the mill another one over here basically drops everywhere i think we're gonna have seven total and then um, four hose reels so got all the pegs tubing got it from home depot sorry the shop's kind of a mess but you get the picture. I'm gonna start pulling those down and running tubing across here and put a drop right here with the drain. So we'll start there. Alright, so we're all done here in the shop. The reason I went with PEX was simply because of cost effectiveness. I'm not going to use the system every day. I'm not even going to leave it charged up all the time. But I've used PEX in different industries and it seems to work really well. It seems to hold up to more than it's actually rated for. But I went with a 3 quarter inch PEX brass fitting and a stainless steel ring. So you can see, you put the stainless steel ring on the outside, put the brass fitting on the inside of the PEX, and then you use this specialty tool to crimp it, and it is calibrated to crimp to the perfect, the perfect amount, and then you should have a leak-free fitting. Um, it turns out pretty clean. I didn't want to use shark bite fittings because they don't, they're not, they're not as really slimline as this. They don't, they, they kind of stick out. They're not as clean in my opinion but they're a lot easier so I went with this system cost me about 500 bucks to plumb the whole shop and it should work pretty well I will let you know if I have issues with it naturally but I'm hoping I don't crossing my fingers 125 psi it should hold up just fine so that's gonna be it for this one I hope y'all have a fantastic Memorial Day weekend and we'll catch you on the next one